Hi, today my quick tip is about how to stay positive. So since I started doing all these quick tips and I'm a bit more visible on social media, some of my friends and relatives have been letting me know that they appreciate what I'm doing and they marvel at my positivity and things like that. So I thought maybe today I could tell you a little my secret to staying positive. Um, this is very important for anyone who's speaking or singing because if your confidence gets a bit dinted, you won't want to sing, you won't want to speak, you won't want to tell anyone anything. So for me, it starts off with the thought process that I have. When I have a thought, I always ask myself, is this a helpful or an unhelpful thought? Sometimes I might look at a situation and the truth of the situation is, oh, I don't want to do this this is difficult. And I ask myself if thinking that way is helpful. If it's not, I'll try to think about it differently. So if it is a difficult situation, I might try and use words like, oh, it's challenging. It's stretching me. It's getting me out of my comfort zone. And try to use phrases and words that are a little bit more geared towards it's a positive thing that things are difficult. We all know that being in our comfort zone can be a very alluring kind of feeling. It's really nice not to be challenging ourselves too much. And I've fallen into that trap many a time and I can get a little lazy when I get into my comfort zone. And then when things are difficult, I, as much as anyone, can be complaining in my mind. But I try not to. And coming back to this idea, is it a helpful thought or unhelpful, always helps me. The second thing that has been the backbone of my positive positivity is a feeling like I'm not fully alone in things. Um, this is something that really happened when I started doing meditation. Um, and I highly recommend meditation or prayer even if that's what you're into. But when we start to acknowledge that this life that we have is a gift, that was given to us by something or someone, you know, maybe we could say it's our parents, but it's an opportunity that we're not fully responsible for. Like I didn't create this physical body that I'm in. There's so much magic and so much mystery to the idea of why am I here and what is this life about? But firstly, I would say, imagine that this life is a gift. And that was given by someone who cares about you, by an energy that cares about you, by the divine, by God. And when you notice um, that feeling of gratitude for your life, you start to feel connected to this entity that probably gave you your life. This feeling to me is what makes me the most positive. I don't feel alone. I feel like there is something out there. Now you might disagree with me and that's fine. Um, whatever works for you is absolutely fine. But if you've ever had an inkling that there's something more, maybe you've had um, a close call or an escape of some kind where things have gone badly and somehow it all turned out okay, or a near death experience where suddenly you realized, oh, I've been saved from that situation. Um, sometimes situations like that help us to see that we're being helped. We're being guided sometimes. So I would suggest to connect with the divine more, meditate. That can be a silent meditation, mantra meditation, or prayer. And if you need help connecting in that way, then maybe my mantra class would be of use to you or find something that is in alignment with your belief system. So how to stay positive? It's so important. You matter. Your existence matters. It does. It does. It really does. And don't forget that. Because even if it's only one other person or your pet or the flower that you water every day, you're needed to be where you are and no one else can replace you exactly where you are. So believe in yourself trust in that. And if you are feeling like it's, you can't see a way forward, remember there's always someone 
who wants to be there for you and you just need to reach out. And I look forward, if you'd like to reach out to me, I look forward to speaking with you. Take care.